fun to do this with the kids this whole life. I know, I mean, I got to take TJ out, I never got to take Cole out on a boat. I remember my dad taking me out, how we used to go out on the barges, and you'd get, there were so many mackerel and bonita in the 60s, you couldn't even get through them. You'd go on the half day, three quarter day boats. Come back with a hundred of them? go in and see if we can get this all situated so he can be fishing food. I got a couple of questions I want to ask you. Hey, I grew up in Southern California. I've been out of here for the last 22 years. 22 years. And to, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. We've been in Colorado, but I got this stuff like 30 years ago when I was really into fishing, before I got into diving, it was still brand new, and I'm just curious if it's still decent, or... Yeah, they look good. They, look like they, were, they were custom wraps. Black that one was on here. So I can't tell you how... What side of the line? Yeah. I'm it's thinking like I use like 20 to... Yeah, I would say that's like a 20 to 25 stick. And this I think... Is, this is your bigger stick. Yeah. So this is more of a... Yeah. This is quick action, slow action. So like, that's more bait fishing. Probably more calicos, maybe small yellowtail. This is more rock fishing, jig stick, um, cast lure, big yellowtail. But you, wouldn't, both, you wouldn't use that for bait? No, I'd use it for bait. Okay. You can use that for anything. But if I'm going like sea bass fishing or yellowtail fishing, I'd use this one for that one. Okay. And then, uh, you got these old newels, are they? Um, reliables, right? What's up? Old reliables, right? Yeah, the newels are awesome. I'm so good shape. Yeah, like you say, I got them. I got, I still have the paperwork that came with them that I got them in 82, I think. Yeah, man, these are probably better, better off than those I see around here. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're perfect. These AB or P line. Okay. That's what we carry here. A lot of guys, what they do now, spider wire. saves you a lot of money is they get the braided line. Uh -huh. So you fill this up like three quarters of the way. And then you just splice it with mono, which is super easy to combine the knot. Excuse me, I gotta get in. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. Um, <laughs> so what they do is they throw out some spools, <laughs> you know, like 200 yards of spectrum. Yeah, you know, uh, introduce himself. So that way you're not waiting, because you know, at the end of when you have to re-spool your line, you have to do the whole thing and the whole bottom half of the spool you never even use. Well now, you don't have to replace the spectrum. All you have to do is replace that 75 yards of bump. You're saving a lot of money, that spectrum will stay good three or four years. Okay. Well, that's a, I'm giving this stuff to him. I still live in Colorado. We're okay. visiting him. He's out here, so he gets my doctor. That's all right. So excited, Dave. Loving every minute of this. Well, actually, we can't have people on the dock. We're not allowed to go on the dock, but we can walk up and down here, can't we? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. 
that hot shot. I love you. I love you too. I love being out here. I like this place. Nice. Yeah, I got a couple 500 jig masters. Hot fish, it seems. Mm -hmm. I just have to get some frozen squid to fish for those rock fish, huh? Yeah. Is there anything else you'd suggest to cast at the bottom? You can use live bait. Live bait at the bottom? Yeah, drop a sardine. Those freaking wing cots love sardines. Right. Yeah. Catch a big old green mouth. Greeny. I remember shooting them. Big old wing cod. Pinning on the rocks. And it was coming up and it started to come off. And Randall came up with his spear pole. And tried to shoot it for me. And shot me in the arm. Shot you in the arm? Yeah. <laughs> How'd that Shoots be? my husband, breaks my kids' just noses. What'd he do to you? Awesome. <laughs> he gave me a job. He broke his <laughs> nose. Well, I was just come no ease. He was straight on her. Yeah, I mean, there was all sorts of controversies of tying it, and they were, people were gluing the knots. I remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How did gluing the knots work? Not very good. It didn't. Because <laughs> it'd either get too hot outside and the glue would melt, or when you put it in the water, the glue would just come off. There goes your stuff. Hey, Hi. There's Randall's boat. Looks for the sailboat. Yeah.